So here we are today at the Buffalo Zoo. For Mother's Day, we thought it would be interesting to sort of take a look at how certain species interact with their own mothers. So today I have Donna Fernandez and Alice Rohauer, and we're going to introduce you to our new friend. Well, this is a hyena, a spotted hyena, that was born uh, March 23rd, so she's about uh, tw six weeks old. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, um, but we're hand-rearing her because her mother was uh, a wild-caught animal that was tried to be smuggled into the country. Usually a female would learn from her mother what's the appropriate way to raise her own offspring. So if she's hand-reared, she may herself not know what to do. And so because this animal is descended from wild-caught bloodline, we thought it was really important to ensure the success of this cub uh, by hand rearing it. Now we're going to take a look at a couple of vultures who have excessively good parenting skills. So what do we have here today, Donna? Well, we have a pair of Eurasian vultures who have bred very successfully here at our zoo for a number of years. And what are vultures' uh, typical experience with their mothers? Well, what's interesting in most bird species, about 90%, both male and female take care of the young. They both take care, uh, uh, take turns incubating the egg and they both bring food to the chick. So both parents are involved, unlike mammals where it's usually just the female involved with parental care. So now we're at the gorilla exhibit and we're going to take a look at a species that's not too far off when it comes to interaction between mother and child. So tell us who we have here today. Well, we have our uh, troop of western lowland gorillas, um, so one, they're one of the great apes, and we have our newest baby is Amari. She's about uh, a year and a half old, and they're a great example of good mothering. Uh, her mother, Sydney, was born here uh, about 13 years ago and um, was mother raised, so she's a really good mother herself. So what is the one thing that we can take away from gorillas and maybe a tip for mothers out there? Well, I think the most important thing is love. And I mean, it's very obvious when you watch the whole group interact how much Sydney loves Amari. And I think that every good mother, if they're motivated by love, will be a good mom. So if we've learned anything today at the Buffalo Zoo, it's that a good mother will make a good mother, which will make a good mother. So make sure for Mother's Day you give your mother a big hug because whatever she's taught you, you're going to take all the way through your life just like our friends the vultures, the hyenas, and the gorillas.